ask, we investigate. Making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. This is KMIR 6 News Special Edition. On this first day of the new year, we look back at the biggest stories of 2012. Plus, Hollywood hits the desert. See what the Palm Springs Film Festival has to offer this year. And we take a closer look at weight gain. Could those holiday pounds increase your chances of getting cancer? Good morning. It's January 1st, 2013. You're watching KMIR 6 Today. I'm Gloria Rodriguez. Anthony Alvarez has her morning off, but I have a very special co-anchor with me today, Manny the Movie Guy. Ooh, Manny, happy, welcome. Thank you, and a happy, happy new, new year. year. I am so excited to spend the morning with everyone, to give love to everyone. Oh, we can all use a little love in <laughs> right. the new year, right? <laughs> so, of course, you know, another year. Cannot believe it's gone by. So I want to ask you, did you have a good year? I had a fantastic year, but, you know, 2012 is so yesterday. I am so looking forward to embracing 2013. A good way to look at it. Let's move forward with the new year and just right. great things in the new year. Well, I'm glad again that you're with us this morning. And today we are looking back at 2012. What stories dominated the news and what entertained us the most? Now, Manny, I know you're going to share some of your favorite films with us a little later. But first, we're going to have a local attorney here to talk about what important new laws are coming into effect this year. Now, we want to start, of course, 2012 was indeed an eventful year, the presidential election, the death of a legendary football coach surrounded by scandal, and tragic, deadly shootings around the country. Here's a look back at the top stories of 2012. After Paterno lost his battle with cancer, his family released a statement saying he died as he lived. He fought hard until the end, stayed positive, thought only of others, and constantly reminded everyone of how blessed his life had been. In Chardon Rescue, we have an active shooter at the high school. The gunshots rang out before the first bell at Chardon High School. Five students gunned down. Three, Daniel Parmator, Russell King, and Demetrius Hewlin, fatally wounded. Tornado Alley turned deadly. Severe storms spawned dozens of tornadoes from Indiana to Tennessee. The Justice Department acknowledged that investigators and agents with the FBI are now looking into the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. We filed an information charging George Zimmerman with murder in the second degree. A win for John Edwards in his campaign corruption trial. The jury finding him not guilty on one of six charges he faced and deadlocked on the other five. It was just after midnight when the dark night quickly moved from fiction to reality. Police say 24-year-old James Holmes was dressed in full body armor and wearing a gas mask when he burst through an exit door during the premiere of the movie The Dark Knight. 24 counts of first-degree murder for the 12 killed in the attack, 116 attempted first-degree murder charges for the 58 injured. After a harrowing eight-month journey through space and a nail-biter of a landing, Curiosity is already hard at work, sending back snapshots, including this one of the rover casting a shadow on its new home. All 114 counties in Missouri have been declared disaster areas, and 93% of the state is suffering through extreme drought conditions. Minutes after being found guilty on 45 of 48 counts against him, former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky was taken away in handcuffs. Essentially, the sentence that Jerry will receive will be a life sentence. Jerry Sandusky left the Center County Courthouse from a back door in cuffs and a red-orange jumpsuit, showing little emotion just minutes after being sentenced to a minimum of 30 years in prison. At top speeds of just two miles an hour, officials navigated the 170,000-pound shuttle through the city carefully avoiding trees, street lights, and even coming within inches of some buildings. Hurricane Sandy barreled into the northeast, technically downgraded to a post-tropical system, but the storm still delivering a ferocious blow as it came ashore. Homes that ripped from their foundation streets now resemble sand dunes. In Seaside Heights, pieces of the once popular vacation fun town float in the ocean. Re-elected. With more than 300 electoral votes and a majority of the popular vote, President Obama headed back to the White House. It's a tragedy of unimaginable horror. More than a dozen elementary school children brutally murdered by a gunman who walked into a school and opened fire.
It's always interesting to see the various lists of hits and misses of the past year. And one of the more anticipated announcements this time each year is who Time Magazine names as its Person of the Year. For 2012, President Barack Obama claims the title. The magazine's editors say he's recognized for his re-election accomplishments despite criticism of the bad economy. He is the first Democratic president since FDR to win by more than 50 percent in consecutive elections and the first president since 1940 to win re-election with an unemployment rate above 7.5 percent. Time magazine notes President Obama appears to be a symbol of cultural and political change for many voters. So Manny, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. If you were to choose a person of the year for 2012, who would you choose? Ooh, it's a hard one because we love the valley. But you know what? I'm going to imitate what Time magazine did two years ago. Instead of honoring just one person, they honored a collective group, the activists all over the world. So this year, I'm going to honor all the community organizations here in the valley, the non-for-profit organizations, because you know, without them, we're nothing. And they're very, very helpful to you and I, to everybody in the valley. That's a great point. Everybody from the west side of the valley to the east side of the valley, if you're helping the community, we want to honor you on this special you day for thank 2012. You so much. Well, thank you so much, Manny. And if you want to tell us who you think would be a good Coachella Valley person of the year, you can go to our Facebook page. We have it posted up there and just chime in. We want to hear what you have to say. Still ahead on this special New Year edition of KMIR 6 Today, the Palm Springs International Film Festival kicks off this week. See Ooh. how the Coachella Valley is stepping into the spotlight this year. But first, let's take a quick look at today's weather. Well, it's a new year, but, uh, you know, the same applies. It's cold, and it's going to stay that way. With the jet stream this far south, it should continue to send energy our way. Although we will stay dry, it does look like we'll pick up some wind by later on tonight into uh, tomorrow. And on the backside of uh, really the systems we've been having come through, it's been a cold wind too, hasn't it? But it could get up to 30 or 40 miles an hour or so across our valley. Well, mainly mostly for the canyons and passes, but we still have a chance for some strong winds here in the valley as well. Closed captioning brought to you by I-10 Toyota. Getting bigger and better than ever. Expanded, state-of-the-art service facility to serve you. It's a free-for-all. It's our giant New Year's sale, and this Tuesday, you get a free upgrade. Make no down payment and pay no interest till 2017. 2017. Plus, get a free upgrade. No minimum purchase. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms on sale now. Start off the new year with our exclusive upgraded offer. Free interest till 2017. Plus a free upgrade. No minimum purchase. It's our giant New Year's Day sale, Tuesday, 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. at more furniture for less. No more paper coupons. No more paper lists. No more paper anything. Vons presents Just For You. Save more, save easier. Saving more starts now. Just For You on the Vons app. Folks, this is your captain, and since we'll be about 10 minutes late, the flight attendant will be handing out cash. Wouldn't it be great if you got paid every time somebody was late? At One Hour Heating and Air, you'll get compensated even if we're one minute late. One Hour Heating and Air. Always on time, or you don't pay a dime. Call today for a $49 service call. Call 760-904-0856. That's 760-904-0856. You taxpayers bail out insurance companies, but when you get hit and hurt, what do the greedy, stingy insurance companies do for you? Deny and delay. They don't want to pay. They just give bigger bonuses to their CEOs. Insurance companies put profit over people. I'm attorney Walter Clark. Fighting the greedy, stingy insurance companies is what I do. Call me at the 7s, 777 -7777. If we don't get you any money, it won't cost you a dime. I'll fight for you. KMIR 6 News is brought to you by Mike Thompson's RV Superstores in Cathedral City. You're watching Gloria Rodriguez, Anthony Alvarez, and Mike Chalinas with your lifestyle weather forecast. This is KMIR 6 News Special Edition.
Welcome back. That was a clip from Blanca Nieves, a Spanish film set to open this year's Palm Springs International Film Festival. Really is gripping. You know, I love that movie. Yeah, it looks yes, so yes. good. The festival kicks off on Thursday, and for the Coachella Valley, it's a lot more than just having A-list superstars here in the desert. Game IR 6s Adriana Weingold shows us how the festival is pumping millions of dollars into our local economy. The 24th annual Palm Springs International Film Festival, where the desert hosts Hollywood and where you can mingle with the stars and see films from across the globe. The, the best thing about any film festival or any festival for that matter is, is the opportunity to discover new things. Festival director Daryl McDonald says this year is shaping up to be the best yet. The opening film, Blanca Nieves, is a best foreign language Oscar submission from Spain a silent movie adaptation of Snow White. It's just an utterly wonderful film and a different kind of film than we've ever opened the festival with. 185 films will be screened over the course of the festival, playing at just about every movie theater here in Palm Springs. The awards gala itself has taken leaps and bounds. Uh, it, it's established itself now in the Hollywood firmament as one of the major awards ceremonies of the year. And really, it's right behind the uh, Oscars and the Golden Globes in terms of uh, sheer star power that shows up for it. From the star studded awards gala honoring Hollywood royalty to hundreds of films from 68 countries, the film festival shines an international spotlight on Palm Springs. Anytime that people get a chance to come out and see the stars, get up close, uh, you know, they'll, they'll always come out for that. And this is really a unique opportunity because uh, the, the folks that attend the gala actually get to, to really have dinner with the stars. They may not be at the same table, but they're certainly in the same room and they can, they can certainly have bragging rights with their friends for a while. The chance to see the stars up close is part of what's made the event one of the largest film festivals in North America with 135,000 attendees each year. I know for me, I see the most amazing films and then the buzz is out and at the end, everybody's running to go see them when they come back again. The festival kicks off January 3rd, so get ready for some stellar stargazing and a two-week movie binge. In Palm Springs, Adriana Weingold, KMIR 6 News. The film festival, a big deal here in the Coachella Valley. And Manny, you must get super excited for the film festival. That's your forte. It's my Super Bowl, yes. I, I, you know what? The festival is not only big for me or for the Valley. It's also big for Hollywood. That's why all of them, come. you know, they all visit us here in the Valley during the first part of January. Like what Daryl McDonald said from the Palm Springs Film Festival, it is truly as big as Sundance and Toronto International Film Festival as well. And if anybody knows, it's you because you're all over to all the different film festivals, you know all <laughs> right. about it. So You know where really to find cool. me. <laughs> yeah, watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Palm Springs International Film Festival runs January 3rd through the 14th. And just ahead, holidays, you know, they're a little tough on our waistline. I know. I we all tell? know that, right? <laughs> but just sudden in weight gain, raise your risk of getting cancer. We'll explore that coming up. But first, why don't we get a check of your holiday weather? Well, a brand new year, and we all woke up to some very chilly temperatures in the 30s this morning. And if anyone even uses uh, checks anymore, paper checks, I'm sure you're still writing the wrong date on that, right? But no one uses that, right? It's all ATM cards, isn't it? Dry, chilly weather continue for today. That's because the jet stream is so far down to the south. That's going to continue to send storms our way. So it doesn't eliminate the chances for us to get a little rain, but for the most part, we're going to stay uh, pretty dry because most of these stay out of the way and don't have much kick to them. They certainly don't have uh, much in the way of moisture. Any kick they would have would be in the form of wind. So for later on tonight, we could pick up some wind. And uh, certainly it'll be a chilly one, so it'll make our afternoon temperatures, which will hover around 60, feel like 50. So keep that in mind. So bottom line is we're definitely looking at some colder air pushing through. Let me show you the next seven days. And once again, tonight into tomorrow, as we start off this new year, we're going to actually warm things up in the afternoon hour. So there is some light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train. No, no, in this case, it's a lot of sunshine. That's good news. 30s for lows and near 70s for afternoon highs. Heart disease is the number one killer of women aged 20 and over. Mothers, sisters, friends, women just like us are dying at an alarming rate. Join the American Heart Association and KMIR 6 for the 6th annual Go Red for Women Luncheon, Friday, February 8th, right here at the Weston Mission Hills Resort. There you'll have vital information to keep you healthy. And meet survivors with amazing stories of inspiration. Make it your mission to help fight heart disease in women. Go Red! 
Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hi, I'm attorney Barry Rieger. If you're seriously injured in an accident, the last thing you want to do is dial 1-800-NO-NAME LAWYER. You don't know who you're getting. You don't even know if a lawyer is going to be working on your case. It could be a legal assistant. It could be a paralegal. It could be an investigator. When you call my office and you choose to hire me as a lawyer, you get me as your lawyer. Give me a call. The consultation is free, no obligation, and I can help you. Attorney Barry Rieger. Experience you can trust. New mattresses are arriving at Sit and Sleep Daily, which means every 2012 mattress in stock has to go during Sit and Sleep's January clearance sale. So we're slashing prices 30, 40, even 50% off and more on 2012 Beautyrest, Sealy, Serta, Sherwood, and Heirloom. Plus, buy now and pay zero interest all the way till 2015 and get free local delivery. Sit and Sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free! Join the party with the king of Palm Springs Entertainment, KPSE My 13, The Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men, The Power of Entertainment, all in one station. Feeling like a party, yeah. Welcome back. We all tend to indulge a little over the holidays, but letting that weight creep up can hurt more than just your self-image. 20% of all cancers are caused by obesity. NBC's Kay Quinn spoke with a cancer specialist to see if there's any benefit to eating smaller, more frequent meals. It is an interesting question. What, what can we do, right? And one scientists have tried to answer. A lot of studies in uh, children and young adults looking at the um, pattern of eating and in particular weight gain. Uh, clearly in that setting, Eating more meals tends to result in more caloric intake. Which doesn't lower cancer risk since weight gain can increase your chances of developing it. What about eating the same amount of calories but just spreading them out into smaller portions throughout the day? That will in all likelihood not impact weight. But if eating more frequent meals helps you cut your calories, then you might be doing your health a favor. 20% of Cancer deaths are really caused by uh, adult weight gain obesity. And over a lifetime, that will, avoiding the weight gain, will absolutely translate into lower cancer risk. Well, I know I have a hard time during the holidays resisting all the sweets. It looks like you do too, Maddie. What do you have there? I'm sorry. Donuts, <laughs> yum. Wow. Uh, I know. This is the time of the year where I kind of sort of indulge a little bit. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's the holidays. And then come New Year, you can hit the gym, and then we can get back on track. Right? There you go, because these donuts just magically appear. <laughs> That's right. And you know what? We're going to take a quick donut break in just a little bit, but still ahead of our special edition of KMIR 6 today on this New Year's. We have Manny's favorite Ooh. celebrity interviews from 2000. You don't want to miss that. Now let's go eat those donuts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what can you experience in a seat? Inspiration. Great power. Iconic design. Exhilarating performance. He once again has created Lamar history. And once in a great while, all of the above. Take your seat in the incomparable Audi A8. Take advantage of exceptional values on the Audi A8 during the Season of Audi event. Plump and ripe out here means delicious in here. Welch's Grape Jelly. 100% North American grown, one of a kind taste. It's America's number one grape jelly. Welch's, family farmer owned.
Call 324-9300 and we'll beat any solar company price, guaranteed. Oh, Terry Solar, invest in sunshine. Oh, Terry Solar. Your parents offer to watch the kids so you can take a break, but are they up to speed on the latest safety measures? From crib bumpers to rear-facing car seats, the newest advancements every parent and grandparent should know about. Wednesday on KMIR 6 News at 11. Welcome back and thank you so much for joining Manny and me on this first day of the new year. Hopefully you're having a great new year. So Manny, I know you had a great time interviewing some of your favorite actors this year for all the films that they were in. Right, I know I am, I feel really truly blessed for doing what I'm doing, interviewing all these fantastic celebrities from Liam Neeson mm -hmm. to Ben Affleck to the entire cast of Les Miserables and Twilight. Here's a look back at some of my favorite celebrity interviews in 2012. Man on the Ledge jumps into theaters near you and Madagascar 3, Magic Mike. I'm Manny, the movie guy. The messiah of the male strippers. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect four out of four. Thank you very much. Frozen in time. I'm Manny, the movie guy. Yeah. The dancing is fantastic, but that's about it. I'm Manny, the movie guy. Manny Karenina. <laughs> Manny Karenina, of course, yeah. <laughs> On my own. It's too high, I doubt it. I'm not sure which award you get, but you already get it. Well, let me <laughs> tell you what award you're going to get. Best Supporting Actress Oscar. No food, no water, yeah, and right. exercise. I look like hell. Never felt that much intense watching movies in Silence of the Lambs. Whoa. I will be honey boo boo. <laughs> James Bond Adventure is finally here. The movie guy. I cried like a little girl. It shocks me. Yeah, you know, right? Vampire Bella rocks. Yeah. A couple of lines that I actually laugh at. <laughs> that you actually <laughs> laugh at. You don't have your long hair anymore. <laughs> the next time you're in Palm Desert, you have to come visit our station. I'll do it. That's Absolutely. a day. Blockbuster of the year. I'm not going to jump on a fun. train station. No, don't jump. Don't <laughs> jump in front of a train. I should use that too. Fingers to go. It's a movable feast. <laughs> mm, yeah. All right. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Manny the Movie Guy. Hitting my target. I want to be the flower girl, okay? You heard it here first. <laughs> you are the real life Ken doll. And Ken is a, a prince on the streets and a freak in the sheets. <laughs> I like that. Sporting a Justin Bieber haircut. <laughs> I haven't heard it called Justin Bieber. You're right, though. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Growing my beard. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Vote for me. Using my super fun. The first time you wore your thong. I'm still wearing a thong right now. <laughs> you were barely recognizable. Is that the term? Well, Manny, with the little uh, dye over that you have, I barely recognize you. <laughs> Movie guy, to rule them all. Found your place in the sun. Oh, Good child, and I'm burning <laughs> I've been a fan since Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Gina Carano is hot, hot, hot. It's the characters that resonated all the way till the end. Oh, right? Yeah. You. you bring the necessary fun. We are the necessary fun. We are well, necessary yeah. fun. Not to go to Alaska. <laughs> My two queens. Oh, <laughs> nice. Thank you. I, I, there you go. Oh, yeah. Get lost in the tundra, I need to call you. You have to. <laughs> sure. The energy. I'm hungover. <laughs> Swimming in popcorn, Manny de la Rosa. <laughs> oh, my Lord of mercy. Oh. I especially love the Channing Tatum interviews for Magic Mike, Matthew McConaughey. Those I are my favorites. Know, they're, I, I am a lucky, lucky guy. <laughs> lucky guy. And you know what? You've been sharing some great moments, but I want to know some top secret stuff. What Ooh. is the weirdest or funniest thing a celebrity told you? Well, they always make fun of my hair or my <laughs> outfit, like many, many mo, mo, all of you guys do. <laughs> No, and, and I cannot reveal some of the secrets that they say, but, uh, you know, yes. That's for the tell-all book. Right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. But, you Soon. know, the, the, the hair big hit in 2012. <laughs> well, still to come this morning, we have a look back at the top entertainment stories of 2012. Stay with us. You're watching KMIR 6 Today.
it's been an exceptional season. See why Time Magazine calls Parenthood one of the top ten shows of the year. I'm scared to... Parenthood returns on New Year's Day with another unforgettable episode tonight here on NBC. Wednesday, one of their own... How bad is it? ...will fight for her life. Every thought, every prayer needs to be directed down that hallway. New Chicago Fire, Wednesday, 10, 9 central here on NBC. I've got it, sweetie. Forty-year-old tradition to keep. I hope we make it. We'll make it. Winter is the season to bring family together. Visit the Infinity Limited Engagement Winter Event for the best offers of the season, including an Infinity JX for four ninety-nine a month. Infinity Inspired Performance. No more paper coupons. No more paper lists. No more paper anything. Vons presents Just For You. Save more, save easier. Saving more starts now. Just For You on the Vons app. Truckloads and truckloads of mattresses. During our huge New Year's truckload mattress sale, special purchase low prices on America's favorite mattress brands. Simmons, Serta, Sherwood, every size, every firmness on sale with same-day delivery. Get this premium Visco memory foam mattress for just $4.99 or get Serta's Super Pillow Top Laguna Beach mattress set with memory foam for just $6.99. Our huge truckload mattress sale. Now at more furniture for less. You ask, we investigate. Making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. This is KMIR 6 News Special Edition. Good morning. It is January 1st, 2013. I'm Gloria Rodriguez. Thank you so much for starting a new year with us this morning. Anthony Alvarez has a morning off. So Manny the Movie Guy is here celebrating with Yay. us. Fun stuff. <laughs> well, Happy New Year, Manny. Happy New Year. And thanks again so much for joining us this morning. We'll have the champagne a little later to toast the New Year. Know. Good morning and Happy New Year to everyone in the Valley. Well, today we are reviewing 2012's top stories. Earlier, we looked at some of the top news events. The presidential election was a biggie, as well as the deadly shooting tragedies that we've seen, unfortunately, in this past year. Now, the entertainment world also delivered some big stories for us. Here's reporter Nichelle Turner with a look at the biggest showbiz stories from 2012. Catchy dance tunes, celebrity breakups, and the tragic death of a singing icon. Just a few of the topics that had people talking in the world of show business. Here's a look at CNN's top 10 entertainment news stories from 2012. The song was almost inescapable. Carly Rae Jepsen's viral sensation, Call Me Maybe. It earned the young singer two Grammy nominations and countless reenactments online, like this video posted by the U.S. Olympic swim team. The force is now strong with Disney. In a move that caught many by surprise, the Star Wars franchise's fiercely independent creator George Lucas sold his company, Lucasfilm, to the entertainment empire for more than $4 billion. What's more, Disney's announced plans for three more Star Wars films. It's the superstar relationship that has Hollywood asking, are they or aren't they? Chris Brown, who beat his then-girlfriend Rihanna in 2009, said in October that he's renewed his friendship with the singer. But is it more than just friends? Song collaborations and vague tweets from Rihanna have suggested otherwise. They want to keep everyone guessing, and they don't want to explain what's going on with their relationship to anyone in the world. The Jacksons, their family drama turning into one big reality show. More turmoil for the Jackson family last summer as Michael Jackson's teenage daughter Paris announced on Twitter that her grandmother and guardian, Katherine Jackson, was missing, forcing a judge to suspend her guardianship of Michael's three kids. Katherine Jackson, she's back home. She says she wasn't kidnapped. Michael's siblings disputed the claim, saying their mother was resting in Arizona under doctor's orders. A judge later restored Catherine as permanent guardian of Michael's children.
Whether it was a pleasure or a guilty pleasure, audiences couldn't turn away from TLC's hit reality show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, about a child beauty pageant contestant and her family. Rapper Psy went from a relatively unknown performer to a worldwide phenomenon after his catchy dance tune Gangnam Style hit the web. The music video featuring the South Korean star's song and trademark dance shattered records online, becoming the number one watched video on YouTube with more than 970 million views. But Psy's newfound fame wasn't without controversy. Harsh anti-American remarks he made during a performance in 2004 resurfaced online. He apologized, saying his lyrics were emotionally charged and resulted from events in the war with Iraq. New sexual misconduct accusations against the former voice of Elmo. In one of the most surprising stories of the year, Elmo puppeteer Kevin Clash was forced to resign from Sesame Street after being accused of engaging in sexual relationships with minors. His lawyer says the cases are without merit, but Clash still opted to leave Sesame Street after 28 years. Twilight stars Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson had been one of the hottest celebrity couples until a highly publicized fling between the actress and the man who directed her in Snow White and the Huntsman rocked Hollywood. Kristen Stewart moved out of the home that they shared together. She released a very public statement asking Robert for forgiveness. Pattinson apparently did forgive, just in time for the premiere of The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 in November. Celebrity split sending shockwaves through the entertainment world. After nearly six years of marriage, Katie Holmes filed for divorce from Tom Cruise in June, blindsiding Hollywood's biggest movie star. What was so incredible is how Katie Holmes had everything just so well prepared. Although Holmes asked for full custody of their daughter, Suri, the couple eventually settled amicably on the divorce, just two weeks later, ending one of the most high profile celebrity marriages. You're watching CNN with the breaking news of Whitney Houston's death. It was a tragic end to an iconic singer's successful but often troubled career. Whitney Houston, who battled with drugs and alcohol for decades, died February 11th in a hotel bathtub at the age of 48, the night before the Grammy Awards. Houston's death was an accidental drowning with the effects of heart disease and cocaine use as contributing factors. Michelle Turner, CNN, Hollywood. Wow, lots of great entertainment stories in 2012. But I want to add two, two things, though. Two songs that we could not escape from last year. Uh -huh. Taylor Swift's We Are Never, Ever, 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 Ever Getting Back Together Like Ever. And Gautier's Somebody That I Used To Know, right? Right. You know, you're talking about Taylor Swift's song, Never, uh -huh. Ever, 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 you actually look like Psy from Gangnam Style right now. So, you know, that's right. another song that they talked about we couldn't escape this year. Right. And I hear you do a mean Psy <laughs> impression. So okay. I want to see it. All right. Are you ready? Let's see it. All right. Upa Gangnam Style. <laughs> Yes, I, guess that's I, yes, I will teach that to you later. <laughs> All right, I, will, I, I need to learn it later. Thank you so much, Mandy. Well, still ahead right here on your special edition of Game IR6 today on this New Year's. A new year brings new laws. We take a look at some of the more important new laws going into effect this year. But first, why don't we get a check of our local weather? Well, it's a new year, but, uh, you know, the same applies. It's cold, and it's going to stay that way. With the jet stream this far south, it should continue to send energy our way. Although we will stay dry, it does look like we'll pick up some wind by later on tonight into uh, tomorrow. And on the backside of, uh, really, the systems we've been having come through, it's been a cold wind, too, hasn't it? But it could get up to 30 or 40 miles an hour or so across our valley. Well, mainly, mostly for the canyons and passes, but we still have a chance for some strong winds here in the valley as well. It's the Ford 100 hour sales event, and these are the final days to step out of your old car and into a new one. You'll get an extra $1,500 factory cash, which means you could get these great deals on Mustang, Escape, Explorer, Edge, Flex, Super Duty, and the F-150. Get up to $1,500 extra cash during the final days of Ford's 100 hour sales event. Hurry, it's all over January 2nd. Ah, the finger.
celebrate the almighty finger and come to Augustine Casino for the iGadget $15,000 giveaway. Indulge your finger's wildest fantasies by winning iPads, iPad minis, and iPods. Or let it press and swipe its way to winning cash and free play just by playing your favorite games. All hail the finger at Augustine Casino's iGadget $15,000 giveaway. For hot slots and good food, it's Augustine Casino. Closer than you think. It's coming. The third annual Humana Challenge Golf Show presented by Lumpies is January 12th and 13th at Silver Rock Resort in La Quinta. I can't remember there ever being more new products introduced in golf than right now, and this is your chance to see them all and get fit by all of golf's major manufacturers. It's the Humana Challenge Golf Show presented by Lumpies at Silver Rock the weekend before the Humana Challenge. The 2013 New Year's Sale event is going on now at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Don't miss your chance to save 20% and get 20 months no interest, no down payment, and no minimum purchase for 13 days only on living rooms, bedrooms, and dining rooms. Plus, get this three-piece reclining living room set for only $9.99. Save 20% and get 20 months no interest, no down payment, and no minimum purchase for 13 days only at the 2013 New Year's Sale event. Visit any of our 14 locations. Coming soon to West Covina and Montclair. This portion of KMIR 6 News is brought to you by the Dunes Club. Visit them online at dunesclubpalmsprings.com. You're watching Gloria Rodriguez, Anthony Alvarez, and Mike Chalinas with your lifestyle weather forecast. This is KMIR 6 News Special Edition. Welcome back. Several new laws hit the books today. Attorney Steve Quintanilla is here with us this morning to tell us about some of the more important new laws. Steve, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, good morning to you. And first of all, I want to say congratulations. It's a new year, and I understand you have now been chosen to represent Desert Hot Springs as well as Rancho Mirage. Yes, and I'm very excited at the challenge, and um, it's my actually my second term there as their um, city attorney, so I'm looking forward to coming back to the community and doing what I can to help them out. Wonderful. And one of the things that you're going to help us out with today is understanding some of the new laws, because I know for myself, I have a hard enough time keeping track of the old laws. Now we have new laws to worry about. So what are those new laws that we really need to know about this year? Well, I, I got to tell you, you know, um, during 2012, while most of us Californians were preparing for the Mayan apocalypse, hmm. our state legislators were hunkered down at the state capitol um, coming up with a variety of proposed laws. And in fact, this year, they came up with over a thousand new proposed laws, 873 of them, which were actually put into law, which take effect today. Those are the laws that were signed by the governor of California. Um, but there's, there were proposed laws affecting every aspect of California life. Um, we have laws pertaining to motorcycle sounds, um, public pensions, public health, the elderly, employment, you name it, every aspect of California life. But I think the most significant laws that were adopted this year um, for California um, really pertain to the issues that are really uh, the core of a national debate. Um, those include laws pertaining to college costs, um, internet privacy, foreclosures, immigration, and gun control. Okay, so when it comes to college costs, what is the new law? Well, there's been, actually, there's two laws that um, took effect today. Uh, one of them has to do with um, college textbooks. Um, now, um, the 50, there's like 50 or more common college textbooks that are provided to students at the Cal State Universities and community colleges. Um, the colleges are now required to post those common textbooks online free of charge for the students. So that's going to result in a significant reduction in cost for at least for college um, textbooks. Also, um, in regards to tuition hikes, there's been a lot of controversial tuition hikes um, imposed by the boards of regions for both the UC system and the Cal State University system. Um, so now, the law requires that the, these boards consult with student groups to determine whether or not there is an actual need for further tuition rate hikes. Huh, okay. And of course, gun control is really out there in the news right now because of what happened, unfortunately, in, in Connecticut. So. Can you tell us more about the gun control issue and, and the new laws that are going to take into effect? Yes, certainly. Um, last year, um, in 2012, there was a law that took effect that prohibited carrying unloaded handguns into public places. Um, a lot of people didn't know that that was actually legal before 2012. Well, what happened during this year, certainly we had these, gun, these um, terrible tragedies in Colorado and Oregon and in Connecticut. 
Um, and at the same time, what was happening is that a lot of the gun rights advocates were protesting the law uh, regarding unloaded handguns. And they started carrying uh, rifles and shotguns, unloaded rifles and shotguns, into some of the Starbucks throughout mm. California. And so in response to that and the tragedies that happened in, uh, in Oregon and Colorado, the state legislator, some, some state legislators proposed a bill that would ban carrying unloaded rifles and shotguns into public places. And so that law takes effect today. Wow. Now also immigration, always a big issue. What's new in 2013? Well, with immigration, uh, you know, immigration, there's been a national debate on the issue of whether or not we should provide a national ID. And that debate has not fallen on deaf ears in Sacramento. So what the new law that takes effect today is a law that allows un certain undocumented Californians to receive California driver's licenses. And the condition upon which they can receive one is that they have to qualify for a federal work program permit. And the federal work program permit requires that, uh, it allows uh, permits to be issued to undocumented residents if they are um, 30 years or younger, they arrived in the United States prior to 16 years of age, um, they have either gone to school, you know, graduated from school, or they're attending school, or they served in the military. If they meet all that criteria and they've been living consistently in the United States for five years, they're entitled to get a California driver's license. Okay. Now, lastly, I just kind of want to wrap up because there's some interesting and I should say funny laws that are also taking effect. Tell us about those quickly. Oh, yeah. You know, as a, you know, what I do every year is I review all of these laws. Sometimes they number in the thousands. And I review them to determine whether any of them are going to have an impact on any of my clients. And so, as a, you know, just as a form of comment relief, um, just because of the onerous review that I go through, I often look to see, you know, uh, what laws there are out there that might make some people chuckle. On um, the first one I can think of is that, and these are very serious mm. laws, but I think that they're funny yeah. nonetheless. Um, this year, an employer cannot hide an employee in a back room simply because of his or her religious clothing. And I had a, I had a, a client ask me, who happens to be an employer, he said, Steve, you know, what about a nude sun worshiper um, wearing just a headband who wants to work as a greeter at my store? Oh, wow. Well. And I told him, you know, fortunately, there's an out for that. Things uh, to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, there's an undue hardship. So if that's going to impact your financial, you know, your profits, then that, that there's an exception to it. The but other one that I liked, uh, the, the meter, if the parking meter has been expired, you don't have to pay for it, which I've been doing anyway, but now you won't get in trouble for it. Well, you know, I don't know. You know, in, um, I've been in situations where I've run into a broken parking meter and you can't put money in it because something is stuck in it. Well, the state legislature decided, well, why, why don't we adopt a law that doesn't require you to pay a broken parking meter? Well, I thought, how would you pay it in the first place? That's but right. now, essentially, you won't get a ticket if you park in a space with a broken parking meter. Okay, now I'm in the clear. Thank you so much, <laughs> Steve, for uh, cluing us in on some of the new laws for 2013. So make sure you get educated. You don't want to get arrested or get a, a ticket for violating one of those laws. Well, coming up on KMIR 6 today, the economy continued to be a big story in 2012 as well. And just ahead, we look at the top business stories of the year. But first, why don't we get a check of your New Year's forecast? Well, a brand new year, and we all woke up to some very chilly temperatures in the 30s this morning. And if anyone even uses uh, checks anymore, paper checks, I'm sure you're still writing the wrong date on that, right? But no one uses that, right? It's all ATM cards, isn't it? Dry, chilly weather continue for today. That's because the jet stream is so far down to the south. That's going to continue to send storms our way. So it doesn't eliminate the chances for us to get a little rain, but for the most part, we're going to stay uh, pretty dry because most of these stay out of the way and don't have much kick to them. They certainly don't have uh, much in the way of moisture. Any kick they would have would be in the form of wind. So for later on tonight, we could pick up some wind. And uh, certainly it'll be a chilly one. So it'll make our afternoon temperatures, which will hover around 60, feel like 50. So keep that in mind. So bottom line is we're definitely looking at some colder air pushing through. Let me show you the next seven days. Once again, tonight into tomorrow, as we start off this new year, we're going to actually warm things up in the afternoon hour. So there is some light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train. No, no, in this case, it's a lot of sunshine. That's good news. 30s for lows and near 70s for afternoon highs.
Park 111 Salon and Spa is a spa that takes you away to a world beyond pampering, to a place of connection and surrender. Visit one of our award-winning hairstylists or have a manicure pedicure in our private room. We offer Botox, Juvederm, and Restylane under the supervision of Dr. Doriana Cosgrove. Experience our massage and reflexology or treat yourself to a facial or microdermabrasion with our master esthetician. Whether you can spare an hour or devote a day, escape with us and pamper yourself in our serene surroundings. The Dodge Big Finish event is going to make the season even brighter. With Dodge Charger and its 31 MPG highway, Dodge Journey, the most versatile crossover in its class, and Dodge Grand Caravan, the most awarded best-selling minivan ever. Let's see the neighbors compete with that. During the Big Finish event, well-qualified lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2013 Dodge Dart SXT for $149 a month. Hurry, the year's best deals are here today, gone January 2nd. When we were looking at home security companies, we needed someone local with a great reputation. For us, it was about technology. We wanted the latest and most advanced security company. We need someone to look after our home when we are gone. We chose Desert Alarm. We chose Desert Alarm. We chose Desert Alarm. Hello, my name is Chris Medain. For the past 20 years, we have helped thousands of families and businesses feel safe and secure. We have built a team of professionals with a great passion to serve you call for a free consultation. It's a free for all. It's our giant New Year's sale and this Tuesday you get a free upgrade. Make no down payment and pay no interest till 2017. 2017. Plus get a free upgrade. No minimum purchase. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms on sale now. Start off the new year with our exclusive upgraded offer. Free interest till 2017. Plus a free upgrade. No minimum purchase. It's our giant New Year's Day sale. Tuesday 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. at more furniture for less. Lisa, I want some more. More? Well, we did say please. Please. Oh, thank you. Pass it on. Welcome back to KMIR 6 Today. I'm Gloria Rodriguez. The economy was a big story again in 2012. Here's reporters Christine Romans and Ali Velshi with a look at the biggest moments in business. Number 10. Apple, the first year without Steve Jobs and a company that's trying to prove under a new CEO that it can still invent things we didn't even know we needed that we would buy faster than anything's ever been sold in personal technology before. Number nine, the U.S. stock market. Despite all those worries about the fiscal cliff and, and maybe slower growth in the U.S. economy, the stock market has had a great year. Too bad you missed out. The smart money's been in the market. The rest of us have been worried about the fiscal cliff. Number eight, Facebook's IPO. Hundreds of millions of people like Facebook, but investors did not on its first day as a public company. Trading glitches at the NASDAQ and questions about the company's ability to make money on mobile users pummeled the stock, which has yet to climb its way back to its IPO price. Number seven, Mother Meyer. The new CEO of Yahoo, who announced that she was just going to take a two-week maternity leave as she tried to turn this company around. 37 years old, looks like a mother's touch is just exactly what Yahoo needed. Number six, Mother Nature. An intense drought in the Midwest that scorched the corn and soy crop, sending prices sky high. The ocean is just beyond that. And who can forget Superstorm Sandy? Neighborhoods along the Northeast swept away millions without power and damages as high as $50 billion dollars raising lots of questions about U.S. infrastructure and whether we should be spending some money to fix it. Number five, China. Is China slowing or is China leading the world? We do know that China will be the biggest economy in the world by 2020, for sure by 2030. China. 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 China also getting more than a few mentions during the presidential campaign, probably because it's pretty clear China is both a competitor and a partner. Number four, Europe. The European Union was fractured by too much debt and the austerity plans to fix it. That saga is far from over. Number three, the housing market finally, finally bottomed out. The combination of low home prices and continued record low mortgage rates set off a building and buying spree. Well-heeled investors began buying entire neighborhoods, but first-time buyers were also able to get a home of their own for the first time in years, as long as they had a hefty down payment. Number two, 
CNN projects that Barack Obama will be re-elected president of the United States. The election, more than just about Obama and Romney, it was about socialism and capitalism, about spending and cutting, about what kind of role government should have in your life. Number one is the fiscal cliff. Lawmakers saw it coming but didn't bother to pay any attention to it until after the election. Had they put politics aside and dealt with it earlier, who knows how strong the U.S. economy would be right now. Well, coming up on KMIR 6 Today, Manny joins me again with his picks for his favorite flicks in 2012. Stay with us. You're watching KMIR 6 Today. It's been a big year at Chrysler, and a year this big deserves a big finish. Hurry, the year's best deals are here today, gone January 2nd. Now get 0% financing for 72 months or $3,000 cash allowance on the 2013 200 sedan. Snowbirds, golfers, the exclusive Dunes Club is now offering a unique Snowbird golf ownership. Combining luxurious accommodation and a country club membership. Stay for the whole season or just the portion of your choice and play golf every day on a PGA course without green fees. Designed for the realities of desert living, you pay only for the time you are here. This is the guaranteed best value in the desert. Call or stop by while our founding owner pricing is still in effect. There are a limited number of these residences available. Have you been to our store yet? The Warehouse Furniture, 33 years in Cathedral City, and still the best little warehouse in the valley. Come on down and see for yourself our selection of home furnishings, lamps, accessories, and Englander mattresses for your sleeping comfort. Whether you need one piece, one room, or a whole house full of furniture, our no gimmick sales and no pressure sales staff are here to assist you in getting the quality furniture you need at a price you can afford. And don't forget to miss it. This is your captain, and since we'll be about 10 minutes late, the flight attendant will be handing out cash. Wouldn't it be great if you got paid every time somebody was late? At One Hour Heating and Air, you'll get compensated even if we're one minute late. One Hour Heating and Air. Always on time, or you don't pay a dime. Call today for a free estimate on a new air conditioner. 760-904-0856. That's 760-904-0856. Join the party with the king of Palm Springs Entertainment, KPSE My 13, The Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men, The Power of Entertainment, all in one station. Feeling like a party, yeah. So Manny, the movie guy says 2012 was a good year at the movies, but what were some of his favorites? Let's take a look at his top 10 best movies of 2012. Hello movie buffs, it's been a great year at the movies in 2012. It took me a while to sort out my favorites, but here it is, my top 10 best movies of 2012. Number 10 is Lincoln. Steven Spielberg creates an intelligent and informative film about our beloved 16th president. The performances are great with Daniel Day-Lewis and Sally Field taking the top honors. Number 9 is The Dark Knight Rises. Christopher Nolan ends his Batman trilogy with his blazing and thoughtful conclusion that serves as a metaphor about the unending battle between good and evil. Number 8 is The Perks of Being a Wallflower, one of the best coming-of-age films ever. It's also one of my favorites this year, honest, thought-provoking, and emotionally rich. Number 7 is Moonrise Kingdom. Wes Anderson's masterpiece about love and authority figures has a brilliant rhythm that unfolds like a fairy tale. Number six is Amour. Death and dying are the themes of this film about an elderly couple whose love is tested. This one is also my best foreign language film of the year. Number five is Django Unchained. Watching a Quentin Tarantino film always makes me say I love movies. This one is bold, bloody, and daring. Yes, we're all slaves of Tarantino's vision. Number four is Silver Linings Playbook. You will not see Bradley Cooper the same way again after watching David O. Russell's film. He strikes a palpable chemistry with the equally good Jennifer Lawrence that you will hope for both characters to finally find their own silver lining. 
anywhere. Number three is Zero Dark Thirty. Oscar-winning director Catherine Bigelow has such an eye for detail, you will be a part of the mission to hunt for Osama Bin Laden. This one is layered with suspense, no, sir, punctuated by Jessica out. Chastain's <laughs> performance. Number two is Les Miserables. The film adaptation of the popular Broadway play is a sweeping epic loaded with passion from the cast. Hugh Jackman carries the film and Anne Hathaway's on-key performance deserves recognition. You will cry and sing your hearts out. And my favorite film of the year is... Argo. Ben Affleck creates a riveting, funny, and emotionally potent thriller. The script captures the tension of the Iran hostage crisis, and the cast is game to offer levity. Simply the best film of the year. So there you have it, movie buffs, my top 10 best movies of 2012. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, looking forward to a great year at the movies in 2013. Have a happy new year! And man, you know, you talk about your favorite movies for 2012, but I want to know what movies are you looking forward to in the new year? Ooh, uh, this coming year, this 2013, it's going to be a year for nerds and geeks like me. Um, you know, uh, we have Star Trek coming up, the sequel to Star Trek with JJ, by J.J. Abrams. We have Superman, Man of Steel is coming up as well. Thor, Iron Man 3, I mean, all of these big Hollywood blockbusters. Keeping my fingers crossed that they're going to be as good and as in-depth as The Dark Knight Rises by Christopher Nolan. Okay. So Hopefully. Looking, yeah, looking forward to some good movies in the new year. And I also want to ask you before we leave for New Year's morning, what are you, your New Year's resolutions? Ooh, uh, well, Miss Gloria, I need to lose weight. <laughs> my, my, my New Year's resolution is to look like Anne Hathaway by next Christmas. <laughs> That's a good one. I, like I have to dye one. my hair too for that, right? <laughs> you know, I have to do that too. I need to start hitting the gym again. I've been bad about my workouts this year, so I'll try to start, you know, doing the hikes and the gym workouts. So you and I will do that. All right, we'll hike together. All right, it's a promise. It's a promise. Bump and grind trail, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Manny, let's uh, tell everybody goodbye. Oh, well, we hasn't... cannot leave without wearing our pretty New Year's. Aw, thank Happy you. Happy New Year's. Um, I love this. Thank you so much. There you go. Aww. And you know, we were talking about our favorite songs. When are we going on? A, you were going to teach me how to do right. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Ready? All right. Happy New Year, by the way. And here you Happy go. Here's, <laughs> dance with us in three, two, one. Gangnam <laughs> <laughs> Style. Gangnam Style. Happy New Year. <laughs> This is KMIR 6 Palm Springs. Remember to watch KMIR 6 News at 5, 6, and 11.